Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a superhero comedy film called My Super Ex-Girlfriend. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere in the city of New York, the peaceful streets are disrupted by a suspicious black car and a gentleman who looks like he's having a serious case of constipation. It turns out that a bunch of criminals are robbing a jewelry store while beating up a security guard that's obviously underpaid. They grab everything that they can and rush out into the car, trying to get away quickly before the police arrive. What they don't realize is that a super-powered entity is heading their way, and before they can celebrate their victory, the car is lifted into the air. The superhero takes the vehicle across the sky and dumps it right in front of the police station. The woman flies away into the air while everyone is cheering at their hero who's known as G-Girl. The superhero's good deeds are quickly spread in the news, catching the attention of Matthew and his best friend Vaughn, who has trouble not being a simp for more than 7 seconds. Their conversation is interrupted as Vaughn notices a beautiful lady that looks like a conservative librarian that's very liberal in the bedroom. The man wants Matthew to flirt with the woman, eventually convincing him to embarrass himself for everyone's enjoyment. Matthew tries to start a conversation, but only gets the soul-sucking glare and a big fat no before he even finishes talking. Luckily, before the embarrassment continues, a thief takes the woman's purse and runs quickly towards the door, while Matthew chases closely behind. The criminal rushes past the people in the station and makes it onto the streets, but Matt is not giving up at all, as the incentive of getting laid is more important than his dignity. The thief eventually runs into a car which forces him to escape, as Matthew finds finally gets the ticket for his date, while mocking the criminal and pretending to be an alpha male. However, the thief actually returns after the insulting words, making Matthew realize that he's nothing more than a beta, while running away like a true coward. The man finds a garbage bin and jumps inside like a starving raccoon, but the enemy begins hammering the container continuously. He jumps out from hiding while preparing to fight, but sees no one else but the woman, who's very confused by the man's choice of weapon. Matthew holds up the purse like he just won the lottery and finally gets the woman's name who turns out to be Jenny, and she decides to have dinner with him later that night. It's quickly revealed that the woman is actually the superhero G-Girl, as she leaves the criminal dangling on the stairs. Matthew goes back to work at his architectural firm, where a beautiful woman named Hannah clearly has a crush on him. The man obviously also wants the girl very badly, while staring at her female assets, but their man-hating boss walks in at the worst time, and exposes Matthew as a secret pervert. Later that night, Matthew goes on his his date with Jenny, and their conversation quickly diverges into talking about third base, even though the woman assures him that she's very conservative. Their awkward dialogues are quickly interrupted when Jenny begins hearing police sirens around the area. The woman immediately excuses herself to the bathroom, leaving Matthew confused and embarrassed, wondering if she noticed him secretly passing gas underneath the table. Matthew quickly calls his friend for help to fixing the situation, but Vaughn is clearly very distracted by the burning buildings on the street. Suddenly, G-Girl flies in from the sky and begins spinning in blinding speed, conjuring a giant tornado that sucks all the fire away from the building. Although the woman's now covered in black dust, she quickly flies away and gets back to her date, while everyone is cheering her name. Jenny runs back to the restaurant and returns to Matthew after her lengthy absence, but the man notices a smudge mark on her face that seems to be completely out of place. In order to divert the man from any suspicion, Jenny decides to show him just how liberal she can be later that night. They begin French kissing immediately as the woman climbs Matthew like a tree sloth, and they move into the bedroom so that Jenny can show the man her favorite type of exercise. What they don't realize is that a funny looking bird is spying outside the couple's window while turning its creepy robotic eyes. It turns out that the drone is broadcasting their every movement towards a mysterious peeping tom who obviously cares about others' privacy as much as Mark Zuckerberg. The two prepare to get into their bedroom rodeo as the woman rips off the man's clothing literally and throws away his pants like a flying bullet. Things become even more dangerous as Jenny demands to be on top, and begins rocking her bedroom like an earthquake and smashing the bed into the wall. Matthew tries to endure this extremely aggressive cuddling, but it only becomes more terrifying as the woman smashes the bed into pieces. The next morning, Matthew walks to work like he needs a lower body replacement, but the smile from his face shows that the injury was all worth it. However, his celebration is quickly ended when a bunch of shady gangsters push him into a car, where he meets the peeping Tom from before. It 
turns out that the man's name is Barry, and he wants to know everything about Matthew's new girlfriend. The main character refuses to give out any information about Jenny, causing the criminals to tie him upside down on the Statue of Liberty and blackmailing G-Girl at the same time. The ropes on Matthew's foot eventually unties and drops him towards the ground, but the superhero manages to catch him just in time as she carries him across the sky. The criminals takes the chance to break into Jenny's apartment like a bunch of creepy stalkers, and Barry goes to the woman's bathroom to collect her hair in order to continue his evil plan. After being saved by G-Girl, Matthew questions Jenny about why a supervillain is asking for her information, and the woman realizes that she can't hide her secret identity anymore. She puts Matthew on a chair and begins taking off her clothing in front of him, eventually removing her wig as well, making the man realize that she's the one who saved him earlier. Jenny tells the main character that Barry used to be her friend in high school, and they slowly fell in love as time went on. One night, the two saw a giant asteroid fly by across the sky and went to examine the impact, only to see a massive glowing rock on the ground that's surrounded by flames. Instead of calling the police, Jenny decided to touch the object using her own hand, causing the rock to explode into a million pieces. Surprisingly, the two are not injured by the explosion, and the girl's body begins changing dramatically, especially where it's the most important. Jenny immediately becomes popular with all the kids, but also begins ignoring her boyfriend at the same time. The girl started dating the most handsome boy in the school, while Barry felt a deep sadness as he cried inside the ring. Realizing that his girlfriend is actually a superhero, Matthew immediately comes up with some naughty fantasies as Jenny rushes to change into her G-Girl's costume. The woman goes towards the man as she prepares to punish him for being a bad boy, and grabs onto Matthew like a toy poodle as they fly into the sky. Jenny hovers over the tallest buildings and begins demanding her boyfriend to perform under the extreme duress. They begin dropping towards the ground in blinding speed as they fly across the buildings and head onto the streets, nearly giving the people heart attacks while rushing across the sky. At the same time, Barry is experimenting on the hair that he obtained from G-Girl as it appears to be nearly indestructible, breaking the saw blade and almost killing his henchmen. The man then takes out a stone that appears to suck out all the energy away from the hair, nullifying the superpowers as he easily cuts the material into pieces. Sometimes later, Matthew is supervising a construction site alongside Hannah, and he notices a splinter in his finger. The woman quickly offers to use her oral abilities and sucks it out from the man's body, demonstrating that her special skills can be utilized in other situations as well. Surprisingly, the whole thing was witnessed by Jenny, as she followed Matthew like the overly attached girlfriend, and immediately marks her territory by using her saliva. The man tries to fix the awkward situation by offering a double date with Hannah's boyfriend, which they all quickly agree to. However, on the night of the gathering, the girl's boyfriend never showed up, causing Jenny to look at her competition using her poisonous glares. Everything takes a terrible turn when the news begins broadcasting about a rogue missile that's heading towards the city, forcing Jenny to leave the restaurant as she charges out in anger. Just when the people are becoming hopeless, G-Girl shows up in the news and deflects the missile away from the town, causing everyone to cheer in victory as they're all finally saved. Matthew hugs Hannah in the moment of celebration, but this is witnessed by Jenny from outside the restaurant, causing her to be filled by resentment. Jenny tries exposing the man's feelings for his co-worker, but Matthew denies everything, which angers the woman even more as she smashes the car window into pieces. The girl confesses her overwhelming love towards the man, but Matthew can't help but feel frightened by the woman as he now understands that he's in serious trouble. Later that night, after drinking some alcohol like he's about to be executed, Matthew conjures up the courage to break off his relationship with Jenny. The man quickly realizes that he might have mistimed the conversation as he stares at the woman's kitchen knife, but soon understands that the weapon should be the least of his worries. Jenny flips the table towards Matthew in anger and blows the man while using her superpowers, but this time it was not in the fun way. She unleashes her rage by turning the man's goldfish into sashimi, but Matthew is able to save his pet from the boiling water and throws it into the sink. Jenny promises that she'll get her vengeance before blasting off into the air and leaving a giant hole on the roof, while Matthew questions what he should do next. The next day, Matthew goes to work and tells Hannah everything about the breakup, but before he can confess his feelings for the woman, the crazy girlfriend appears outside the window. The man pushes Hannah down to save her life, while G-Girl rushes away from the building, but his trigger-happy manager sees this and begins giving Matthew even more trouble. Luckily, he's rescued by a phone call from the security, who notifies him that his car has been stolen in the most ridiculous way, which left a giant hole in the garage. 
The man goes home later that night to prepare for his presentation, but suddenly, all the lights turn off, and Jenny crashes into the building through the same roof that Matthew just fixed. The woman walks towards the telescope and shows Matthew her latest work of art, and the man realizes that his car is currently floating in space, with new decorations on the sides. Matthew becomes furious at his ex-girlfriend and tells her that she's crazy, causing Jenny to barbecue the man's face before flying out in rage. While trying to regain his balance, the man looks into the mirror in shock as he sees his little Johnson carved into his forehead. The man has no choice but to go to the presentation wearing a hat the next day. Before Matthew can begin the speech, a shadow flashes by the window and his face turns completely white as he starts having an ominous feeling about his near future. G-Girl rushes into the building and enters the room while causing a twister inside the area as all the papers fly into the air. When everything finally settles, the people stare at the man in shock as he stands naked in front of all his clients, which causes him to get fired by his boss. Matthew is forced to leave the building like a lunatic, but Hannah feels extremely sorry for the man as she invites him to go to her place. It turns out that the girl also broke up with her boyfriend recently, as she caught him in bed with multiple women at the same time. Matthew tries to comfort his friend and reveals that he's always had feelings for her, causing Hannah to kiss the man passionately as they fall onto the ground. The man is finally able to exercise in the bedroom without breaking his hips like an old man, but the fun quickly ends when they hear a woman shouting from the outside. Matthew goes to open the blinds, only to see his ex-girlfriend who throws a giant shark towards him as it breaks through the window and lands inside the room. The man runs desperately for his life while the animal nearly bites off his family jewels, but Matthew is able to evade the shark's attack and causing it to crash out onto the streets. Realizing that this is becoming serious, the main character tells Hannah to leave town immediately while he rushes out from the room, leaving the woman in utter confusion. Matthew decides to go to Barry's house so that he can ask the supervillain for help, but surprisingly discovers a shrine inside the room that's dedicated to Jenny. However, he's quickly pulled away by the henchman as Barry rushes in to close the door. Matthew begs the man to help him stop his crazy ex-girlfriend, and Barry shows him the large asteroid which is capable of completely neutralizing the woman's powers. The only thing that they need right now is a coward who Jenny will never feel threatened by to lure her into the opening. The next day, Matthew goes to the woman while carrying flowers and apologizes to Jenny immediately, claiming that he still has feelings for her. After examining the man like a disobedient dog, the woman forgives him right away and agrees to have another date while Matthew is praying for his life. Jenny goes to the man's apartment later that night and is surprised to see all the preparations that he did, especially the big present that's sitting on the table. The two begins to have dinner while Barry watches everything in the parking lot, but what they don't realize is that Hannah has arrived as well, looking for Matthew's whereabouts. The girl walks into the balcony, only to see that her boyfriend is making out with the enemy. Matthew tries desperately to explain the situation to Hannah, but only manages to upset all parties like a true politician. Things become even worse as Vaughn decided to show up from nowhere like a cockroach, while the two women quickly become violent towards each other, causing Hannah to rip off Jenny's wig and revealing her true identity. Matthew tries to stop the fight while shouting for his friend to open the box, and Vaughn takes out the present immediately. The stone begins absorbing all the energy away from G-Girl as Matthew apologizes profusely, eventually causing the woman to fall onto the ground. Barry rushes into the building as well, and the man begins mocking Jenny for losing her powers, but the villains always talk too much, allowing Matthew to stop them with his friend. Jenny takes the chance and tries to get back her powers, but Hannah rushes in to stop her, eventually causing a huge explosion that throws the woman away from the building. Before they can rescue Hannah from the fall, G-Girl manages to regain her abilities and levitates into the air, while striking Matthew using incredible force that sends him crashing onto the ground. Just when Jenny is about to finish the man, Hannah begins to fly out from the building after absorbing the powers as well, and the two clash into each other while fighting furiously in the sky. Hannah pushes her opponent onto a car, but Jenny is able to counter immediately as she tosses the girl away and sending her crashing into the billboard. However, Hannah recovers quickly as she flies towards the ground and grabs onto a street sign before for knocking away the woman into the cars. This only angers Jenny even more as she grabs onto a vehicle and throws it across the street, barely missing the people as it smashes into the store. The two women begin to spin into powerful twisters as they crash towards each other and turning into 
the most dangerous catfight in human history. They eventually land into a fashion show while everyone watches them in shock, but the fight is quickly stopped by Matthew who tells them that they're terrifying the people. The man apologizes to Jenny for ending their relationship, but tells the woman that she deserves someone much better than himself, and the person has always been in front of her this whole time. Matthew explains that Barry has always loved her despite what he did, and this is proven by the shrine that he has in his home. Jenny is shocked to hear this while demanding to know the truth, and Barry finally tells the woman that he only wanted to take her powers away so that she can love him once again. Realizing that the man has always loved her, the two embrace passionately while everyone cheers in celebration, and Matthew takes the chance to leave alongside his girlfriend. The two waste no time to try out their mating ritual using superpowers, as the girl knocks the bed towards the wall, eventually breaking into the other apartment and turning their bed into a weapon of mass destruction. The next day, Matthew goes to work alongside Hannah and is surprised to see Jenny, who finally decided to return the man's car from outer space as a peace offering. However, the woman quickly began hearing trouble in the neighborhood and transforms into their superhero costumes before flying away into the sky while leaving their boyfriends with their purses. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.